Good afternoon, dear professors and colleagues. Uh, it's my honor to have this presentation with you today, and uh, uh, you're staying late with us till now. I hope uh, it's a nice uh, uh, topic about microsphere fakia. Uh, microsphere fakia is due to abnormal shape of the crystalline lens. Uh, it, 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 there is increase in the anteroposterior thickness of the lens associated with reduced equatorial diameter. It is due to faulty development of the zonules during embryogenesis. Uh, normally, the crystalline lens at birth is spherical with an anteroposterior thickness of 3.5 mm, an equatorial diameter of 6.5 mm. This increased to 5 mm uh, thickness and about 9 to 10 mm equatorial dimensions by adulthood. In the, uh, in the presence of weak zonules, there is lack of tension at the equatorial plane, resulting in a more spherical and convex lens. This can occur in isolated abnormality or in a part of a systemic uh, syndrome as Valmar Shazani, homocystinuria, Marfan syndrome or maybe associated with ocul ocular abnormalities as an uh, neuridia, megalocornea, optic disc coloboma, and aridocornea endothelial syndrome. So what's the problem in a spherical convex lens? This results in a high lenticular myopia and amblyopia. Uh, weak zonules can lead to subluxation and dislocation. There's defective accommodation, and the most serious is the associated glaucoma. Glaucoma here is multifactorial. The problem, uh, it's not uh, a, a simple lenticular pathology. Uh, actually, it's a potentially blinding disease. It was found in that 51% of eyes with microsphere fake here presented with glaucoma. Well, they get glaucoma at presentation. They get later on. The probability of developing glaucoma increases with age. Well, it's not an easy dealing with glaucoma. Uh, however, 20 to 30% of patients were blind from glaucomatous optic neuropathy. It's a difficult uh, uh, type of glaucoma to deal with. Uh, and 90% of the individuals who developed glaucoma were younger than the age of 30, and this indicates the seriousness of the condition. Uh, so, uh, glaucoma in microsphere fake is a multifactorial. Uh, it can occur as a result of bubillary block, resulting in angle closure glaucoma. Uh, the sphere fake lens can have a chronic angle closure due to recurrent attacks of bubillary block, resulting in synechial closure of the angle. Uh, a gene responsible for the faulty development of the zonules is also incriminated in trabecular dysgenesis. It may be associated with a developmental anomaly of the angle with secondary open angle glaucoma. Uh, and there is a postulation per Hirschman in 1948 that the subluxated lens became an irritative edema of the ciliary processes, and this result in a vicious circle of more forward shift of the iris lens diaphragm, and this result in on the long term on synechial angle closure. So on uh, clinical evaluation, a patient presenting with high myopia and shallow anterior chamber, we have always to suspect lesmophy alarm in adatan uh, exit myopia my deep anterior chamber. In the presence of shallow anterior chamber, we have to suspect microsphere fake The hallmark of the condition is the visibility of the equator of the lens on pharmacologic hematresis, like in this photo. Uh, I have to uh, closely monitor the intraocular pressure, optic disc evaluation for any glaucomatous changes. I have to confirm my diagnosis using a UPM to measure the lens thickness, the equatorial diameters, and tear chamber depth. Angle evaluation is extremely important if it's a shallow or occludable angle. Systemic evaluation, family history, and the symptoms. If the patient yani, be gilo attacks of pain and red eye, this means that he passes into intermittent pupillary block. If everything is normal, normal intraocular pressure, normal disc, open angle, normal visual rehabilitation, and risk of amblyopia by glasses, and close observation every three to four months. If the IOP is high, very shallow anterior chamber, occludable angle, please remove the lens. Uh, why to remove the lens? Taman, when I read the literature, most of the evidence is uh, drawn from retrospective studies. We fish a prospective uh, studies uh, because of the rarity of the condition. Best options in Muteha are to manage the glaucoma medically, we laser PI, filtering glaucoma surgeries. Uh, in the largest cohort, the retrospective study related, can allow that 51 eyes required anti glaucoma medications. Only nine could be controlled medically, for medical control is not an option, or it's not a long lasting option. 16 eyes are to PI. Uh, only two of them didn't need any further intervention, and a pupillary block is not the only mechanism of glaucoma in such patients. حتى اللي عملوا جلوكوما فلترينج سيرجي 45% منهم احتاجوا لانزاكتومي ليتر اون مش بس كده ان البروسيجرز دي مش انف لان الديلي في المانجمنت نفسه ممكن يدخلنا في مشاكل اكبر ان ذيس بوردو ريفيو كيس سيريز كانوا 8 كيسز وكانوا بيتابعوهم they found that uh, they decided lensectomy in two cases they were siblings and they disappeared for 3 to 4 years for a no reason and when they come back and they performed lensectomy glaucoma persisted and they, the, the, the explanation and they developed synechial angle closure were, were uh, the lensectomy was not useful at this stage. 
I will present few cases that we met in Abu Rish. Uh, case number one is 11 year old female patient with a minutia of vision. She has a recent uh, right red eye for a week, no history of trauma or systemic illness. She has a high myopia, minus 19 and minus 18 in the right and left eye. Best corrected vision is 1.6, she is deeply amblyopic. She has mild serial injection, intraocular pressure was 12 in the right eye. She was passing in partly into serial shutdown and 30 in the left eye, and she has copying of 0.7. Uh, high myopia with shallow EC, it's a microsphere fakia. We ordered UBM uh, and then planned for surgery. The UBM show how the lens is thick. The entry chamber is almost lost in the right eye. It's very shallow in the left eye. The plan was to, there was no time for the vision now, to perform lensectomy. Uh, and leave the patient ephicic. And after ephicic correction, she has a best corrected vision of 0.4, and the intraocular pressure was 10 or no treatment. And this is her UBM post operative with a widely deep anterior chamber aliphatic. Patient Ziani, after a year, we implanted, after six months, we implanted our sclow lens, and she's doing well now. Uh, case number two is a seven year old boy presented for glass check. He has a free medical history, but he was a bad short stature, and he was on Azarga for a year. By examination, again, he's high myope. Uh, vision uh, was 360, has a shallow anterior chamber, and he has a controlled intraocular pressure, but on Azarga. And this is the appearance of his anterior segment, very shallow anterior chamber. His UBM, again, he has now, he has systemic features. He shows the features of Velma Shizani. His UBM show a very shallow anterior chamber, about 1.3. One minute, just one minute. Sorry. 1.3 and 1.4 anterior chamber depth. Uh, this patient was from, uh, yani from El Said. It was very difficult for follow-up. And he has a very shallow anterior chamber. His IV is controlled, no cupping by ultrasound, but the close follow-up was difficult, so the decision was to perform lensectomy, anterior vitrectomy, and he's doing well now. Unfortunately, I don't have the post-operative photos. This is the last case. It's a three-week-old baby girl presented with abnormal eye appearance since birth. She has a large horizontal corneal diameter, hazy corneas, and anaeridia. We thought at first it's secondary glaucoma to anaeridia. The ocular ultrasound shows small optic nerve head cupping. As usual, we prescribed anti-glaucoma medications, and she was scheduled for surgery. But on the day of surgery, we discovered that she has also a microspherific lens. Uh, in this patient, the cornea was hazy, so performed a glaucoma surgery, and now she's doing well uh, on, um, uh, uh, on, uh, on no treatment, and pressure is controlled, but we still the problem of the lens. So in conclusion, diamond and then high index of suspicion. Uh, patients with uh, microsphere fakia should have a close lifelong follow-up, and don't hesitate to remove the lens once you thought of it. Delay in lens removal may co complicate the condition, and thank you very much.